previously on Travel Beads. After driving up towards San Francisco, we spent the day exploring the black sands of Muir Beach and the magical Muir Woods. But based on our research, it didn't appear that San Francisco was going to be a cheap or easy place to park our van for the night. And to make matters worse, I was sick and feeling progressively worse as the day went on. We were desperate to find a good spot to sleep for the night where we wouldn't be moved along. Good morning, everyone. Before you're wondering, where's Emma? She is actually super sick. She's able to hold the camera, but she's feeling terrible, so you might just get me for the rest of the day. Skim through on the YouTube video and just see if Emma appears again. If not, just <laughs> you're done with the video. I can't believe our luck. <laughs> <laughs> we just stayed like overlooking San Francisco yeah. for nothing. It I cost know. us zero. And then today we've just paid five dollars to park for the day. And now we're gonna get the ferry over to San Francisco. So that's only costing $13. It's crazy, like San Francisco is there. We're parked over there. I, I mean, everyone can't be doing this because if everyone's doing this, then like we're gonna ruin it for the rest of us. But we're still gonna include it on a YouTube video. Yeah, if you want to stay in San Francisco, and we've did all the research, there was nowhere to stay for like under a hundred bucks basically, yeah. especially with a car. And it just seemed crazy to pay for a parking space for like a hundred dollars. Top tip for you, if you're coming to San Francisco, I don't think you're gonna find a way to save money better than this. But you do have to sleep in your car. The boat ride is such a fantastic way to start the day and considering how expensive America is, $13 for that journey was just oh, bravo. <laughs> then we've walked along the waterfront to Pier 39. This is very, very famous here. It's a bit of a tourist trap. I came here 10 years ago, but I definitely wanted to come and see it again, especially because of these bad boys. They're so noisy. <laughs> I'm not sure how true this information is because I learnt it here about 10 years ago so I am relying on my memory but I think I heard that basically all these sea lions prior to the huge earthquake here in the 80s they were in a different location further down and then just before the earthquake they all left and disappeared people didn't know why the earthquake hit they believed that the sea lions knew that it was going to happen they then moved to this spot here and I'm not sure when it was sometime in the last 10 years I believe they all left again and then people were worried, thinking, uh-oh, it's time for another earthquake. But they mysteriously just turned back as quickly as they left. <laughs> I know us. And I know that if we saw, like, one sea lion in the water, we would be beside ourselves. <laughs> We'd be going mental. <laughs> We'd be so excited. But there's literally, like, hundreds of them all just spread out. It's <laughs> such a good way to start the day. And actually... Everyone's down there, but we've got this nice little viewing platform up here so I can just be sick on my own. <laughs> This is a bit of a landmark moment for me. 
this is like a dream being ticked off as a child to have a specifically strawberry milkshake in one of these American diners and just to make it that little bit better it's one of those 50s American diners which I kind of assumed that didn't exist we found our way to Laurie's Diner 24 hours this place is open <laughs> it's got everything it's got the jukebox it's got the old car another part of this road trip that I wasn't expecting that has just made it so good this is probably going to taste fake as hell I hope it does oh, it's, it's so thick and creamy God, it tastes even better than I imagined it would. It tastes so fake. Oh god, it's like childhood. It's, child it's like over the top sweet, which is exactly what I want. It sounds really stupid, but as a child, I just thought this was the coolest thing, these diners. And specifically, as a child, I loved milkshakes. They even made it in one of these like traditional old steel containers, and then they've given it to me, and to my amazing surprise, there is so much more ice cream in here. <laughs> so if this wasn't enough, when I'm ready, I can top it up with at least another half. <laughs> I'm sick, don't judge me, okay? It's, how does the phrase go? It's something like, feed a cold star of flu. This girl has a cold and I am trying my very best to feed it. You told me I had a flu this morning. <laughs> you had a fever? You didn't want to come to San Francisco? It's only a fever, it's not flu, that's fine. Um, yeah, actually, French toast is one of those things that I've never really had much of in my life. I think it's basically bread that they put in batter and then fry. It's like eggy bread. We call it eggy bread in England. Okay. And then it's served with like loads of syrup and butter and stuff, you know, just to make it that little bit healthier. Oh, I think it's like cinnamon sugar on top. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I can just about smell it. <laughs> yeah, let's put some of this on there. Okay, I mean, I mean, that's actually swimming. It's <laughs> swimming in goo. It's perfect. Yeah? That's so good. I mean, it literally just tastes like fried, sugary, like I'm eating a donut or something. But it's so great. Oh. Also, Emma's got a coffee and they're going around saying, Do you need some more coffee, hun? Or shall I fill you up, hun? It's like the movies. <laughs> oh. God bless America. I've never tried French toast. I basically decided I was never going to try this after seeing the movie Road Trip. If you've seen the scene, you know why. I would never eat this and it would put you off forever. <laughs> well, but. I've not seen it. <laughs> but here we go. First time everything. Mmm. It's almost like a like a concealed pancake, the way all the juice, everything is like uh -huh. together, all the flavour. I could eat maybe one of these little slices. I couldn't eat this whole this whole thing, no chance. <laughs> but that little slice. Yeah. Despite the enormous amount of calories consumed and my cold adequately fed, I continued to feel worse. This, along with a severe weather warning, led us back to the ferry port where we had a very windy ride back to our home on wheels. <laughs> you look so healthy. Oh God, I feel gross. Just like this weather, which <laughs> brings us swiftly on. To my next point, which is, oh, I'm sorry guys, I sound dreadful. We need to escape San Fran. We're basically inside of a cloud now. Timing was perfect. We literally stepped off the ferry and it started raining. So yeah, we also want to get out before the um, traffic starts, the rush hour traffic. So we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> we just need to drive straight. We just need to get out of here, wherever that may be. Whether it's a truck stop, a Walmart park, car park, who knows. We are just going to make our way straight down towards LA. And this was the furthest point of the trip. So we're just going to drive through the night, see where we end up, and we will catch you guys very soon. If you like the video and you want me to get better, hit the like button. And there might not ever be another video if Emma gets too sick. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a fear of the plague. <laughs> yes. 
So hit the like, please, to make sure that I'm healthy. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button to show that you want me to be healthy. And hit the notification bell to find out if I get healthy. And leave a comment. Have you ever slept in a car? Have you found a better <laughs> place to sleep in your car than here? Yeah. Probably not, so just cancel the comment. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. And beans out! What the fuck was that? I don't know. I didn't like that. Oh. Beans out! After leaving San Fran and having a couple of duvet days to recover from my illness, it was time to return the van and head back home to England. My baby, I'm gonna miss it. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined us along our American road trip adventure. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And until next time, beans out. She called